want to introduce you to my new best friend, the Nibbler from Makita. It's awesome. I'm going to show you how it works, show you what it does, and you will want one badly. If you've ever worked with any type of sheet metal, uh, copper, whatever type of metal, and you're trying to cut around a circle or you're just trying to cut across uh, to make a, a square cut, this tool is amazing. I've used sawzaws and rotary grinders and tin snips. And by far, this is the tool. Um, they're a little pricey, uh, but if you're doing a roofing project or any type of metal, or if you just, this is a lifetime tool. What it does, it has a slot in it right here. And in this slot, there's a punch. And then, and as the machine's working, it's, it's going up and down and you'll see how fast it actually works. It's amazing. The punch that's been in here has been in use for seven months and it's still cutting just as good as day one. It's, it's actually amazing. The punches are expensive and that's why they are, you know, so effective. Uh, so let me show you how it works and you'll just be absolutely amazed. Okay, first up is some door screening. It's actually a very thin metal, but watch this. Just like that, it's cut. Isn't that amazing? Uh, just cut that, just like butter. And uh, so if you're doing any type of decorative uh, metal work, this is the tool to have. Next up, we're gonna try out some aluminum. That's aluminum. That's actually kind of tough to cut. If you've ever used a hacksaw on this, you know that it binds up the blades uh, because of the soft metal. Uh, that's amazing. That just blew through that eighth inch like it was nothing. That's awesome. Okay, next up we got just some standard galvanized sheet metal and uh, I'll go ahead and just cut a circle. So if you're doing a, like a roof flashing or whatever on a roof, uh, I'll show you how. And that's it. Next up is uh, some corrugated tin. Um, this is actually really thick tin that we used on our fencing. It's, it's heavier than most. It, uh, I'm not sure what gauge it is, but uh, we use this and we use the nibbler on that and it worked great. There you have it. You can see how versatile this tool is. It's it's actually super amazing. Um, we will have the link to this on uh, our down below for Amazon. That's the best price around. So I hope this video was helpful to you. If you're making the decision on getting a nibbler or not, I would say absolutely get a nibbler. And uh, so if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, um, be happy to answer them. Just uh, comment down below. And uh, thanks for watching DIY on the house.